All right, Kotaku, this is Steven Totillo, and we are in New York City with Syed, co curator of Baby Castles, which is a pretty cool, long running exhibition. Exhibition is the right way to put it, right? Of uh, interesting video games. They set all kinds of things up in New York and said, Where are we right now, and uh, what are we checking out? We're uh, at 217 East 42nd Street at the Showpaper 42nd Street Gallery. And um, we, got, we got some cannibal behind here, right? Some cannibal projected on, on one of our walls. And uh, this is uh, one of the games of the Best of Baby Castles uh, exhibition. Uh, we have six cabinets up with six playable games. And uh, we're going to have six exhibitions for the next uh, running through the end of the year. Right, so let's take a look. So this is a mixture of, we've got artwork on the walls, which is not baby castles, but uh, some pretty cool stuff. And that's mixed in with, we got, I guess, uh, this furniture here. Yes, so the furniture is actually made by Tutran from Food Party. Um, let's check out that cell phone there. Let's yeah. show folks that. That's cool. Buy, sell, buy, sell. <laughs> Phones weren't that big in the 80s, but they were pretty big. Yeah. And so, so you got the, the custom art, the giant toothbrush right here. I, you gotta love that. And that's mixed in with these custom cabinets. So you're changing the games that are in the cabinets every couple of weeks, right? But the cabinets themselves are gonna stay here, and they're all custom made. So talk a little bit about like the cabinets that we're looking at here. I know I got Bit Trip Runner running in this one. Some of the games, uh, some of the cabinets were actually painted. Um, uh, by local New York artists, and some of them were actually hand handcrafted uh, from scratch. Uh, if you look at the paper mache cabinet down oh, over there, that one. that's uh, this was built by Stowe from Cinder's Gallery, and um, it currently houses a Ultra Quest made by Mark Linus, which is basically yeah, we show people how the game, game works while we scope out about these cabinets. Gravity and switching gravity. Uh, this is one of the first games we've ever put up on in, in Baby Castles, and um, it's it's uh, it's a game maker game. It's uh, it's really hard. And we got uh, we can't see it in real life, but in the video, folks are going to be seeing like a scan line right. running through here. Don't worry, folks, that's not the real thing. Okay. So you came to the gallery. Yeah. Well, let's take a little bit more uh, more of a look at this paper mache cabinet. So yeah. So who made this, and how long did it take, and what's it? Uh, this what's is uh, made by Stowe Pitt from Cinder's Gallery, and uh, I think about, it took about a couple of weeks to make. It's all paper mache. Um, we house all our electronics up on the top here, and uh, those were fake paper mache controls I was touching, yeah. folks. Yes, <laughs> but I'm sure more than a few people who come here are tempted to try to use them and uh, make make you curators nervous. Absolutely. <laughs> So paper mache cabinets, that's cool, but come on, you gotta have something better than a paper mache cabinet, um, right? Well, we have, I wouldn't say it's better, but it's, uh, <laughs> this is Very awesome. diplomatic. <laughs> Very diplomatic. He likes all of his artists equally. <laughs> this is our, our, our um, Barnwood cabinet from upstate New York. All right, I think we might need some help in showing people this cabinet in action. Can you, can you grab your guys while I keep yeah, scoping this out? Totally. Hey, Joe. Would you like to play a game of Midhog right now? Yeah, of course. That was so natural. Nice. Uh, I am always down to crush someone in right, Midhog. Let's do it. All right, so okay. tell We're ready to get really folks. embarrassed on camera. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> oh <fuck>. what? <laughs> um, uh, so, so this. So who's who in this one? So who's the who's the yellow guy? And who's I'm, the, the, I'm the yellow guy right now, and okay. I just got stabbed in the back by Joe. Okay. Um, and this, this is a game made by Mark Essen. Uh, he was New York based and now I think he resides in LA. Um, this game was made for No Quarter, the NYU Game Center um, oh, um, exhibition. This is hard, it's hard to and the talk. Idea, and the idea is that as you guys, I'll talk as you guys play okay. a little bit. So the way I understand it, uh, you guys are essentially, each one, each one wants to run in the opposite direction. One yes. of you wants to run to the right, one wants to run to the left. And if you pass the other guy, you, the other guy gets another chance to try to stop you. But if he fails, if he gets impaled or punched, then, as just happened there, the guy on the right can run further to the left. Yep. So and head can lose on camera. Oh, oh no, no, but he got him. That was so such a new Now he's running to the right. Oh, right into you. Don't worry, this will be over very soon. Don't ever jump over. 
people who have fenced. Fence we're gonna, while they keep playing Kotaku, we're gonna scope out this wooden cabinet. Say, so tell, tell us a little bit more about the cabinet. Uh, oh, and there's victory. Oh, oh, I got oh. eaten by a monster. Hand a Newman and Rick. There is no true success. Yes. Yes. Hand a Newman from ITP made this. Okay. Um, and uh, it's a really, it's just a really beautiful cabinet. And um, if you're curious, all the computer components as well are kind of like. Uh, drilled into the cabinet itself. Nice. Now let's take a look as we sort of work our way around to one of the cabinets, it's not really a cabinet, it wasn't really created for this exhibition, but it's an unusual game. I was here on your opening night and I saw some, it looked like somebody was hugging a video game, I'd never yes. seen that before. Explain to people what in the world is going on here. Uh, this is Killjet. This is, uh, this is different from all the other cabinets because one, it doesn't use uh, its standard PC. Um, it's run by an Atmel microcontroller. Um, it's a one one bit video game made by uh, this artist called Tristan Parrish. All right. And um, basically, you take your arms around the TV screen and you hug it. And one one of the buttons goes. I'm going to show people up. the buttons here, so let's just take a look. Yeah. Look and see. So, say it's got his hand on a little bit of a knob there. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, there he is. So, it's a button on your right and a button on the left? Yep. Okay. And it controls this fighter plane and. Or jet, rather, um, and you're supposed to just navigate. Oh, I just crashed. Right. One navigate makes one button makes it go the sh jet go higher. The other makes it go lower. Mm -hmm. But you have this wonderfully intimate uh, relationship with the cabinet here as you hug the thing. You're basically supposed to do what your mom told you never to do: is stick your face in front of a CRT monitor or sit this close to it. Yeah, I tried it. I was having a uh, having a good time with that one. Yeah. And uh, let's just. Work our way back to the front of the room. We got the cannibal cabinet here, yeah. where people were. This is what was we saw projected out in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the cabinet for cannibal. It's uh, intentionally made to look kind of messy. And it's like an old an ode to old PCs. That's uh, tower PCs, yes, right? From what absolutely. I understand. And a little bit more fun art. Yeah, this is uh, Nick Cusick painted this cabinet. And we have here a deceptive platformer, which uh, was made by, which was made for the Global Game Jam um, at NYU last year. And uh, it's basically a, a bunch of kids from Ozone Park, Queens. Nice. And so, just let folks know, so they can basically come by here most days of the week and check out what you have. Monday, Monday through Saturday, it's open from 11 to 8 p.m. All right, and we'll have we'll have uh, directions and, and all that on the site on Kotaku. It's Forty Second Street off of Third Avenue, and every couple of weeks you're going to be changing things around. Can you talk about some of the themes that you have coming? Um, the next, the upcoming theme we have is Neverending Games, which was part of the Neverending Games prompt at uh, part of an experimental gameplay project, and uh, we're going to have six Neverending Games. Up okay. For, well, people can check that out also, I guess, on the Baby Castle's website. You guys will have more information. Yes. All right, so folks, you can come to this place, check out these cool cabinets. And thank you to Sayed and the rest of the Baby Castle's crew for letting us in a little bit early today. I think they're going to have a party here tonight. But uh, we got to see it before it got packed full of people getting drunk, playing games, hugging cabinets. Good stuff. folks and there you had it that was the baby castles exhibition at show paper at 42nd street gallery and we got to look at some cool stuff inside and i just wanted you to see outside in the front that lady's not part of the exhibition there you go baby castles new york city video game scene alive and well